Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Howell's Learning Channel. Today we're going to be focusing on three digit subtraction with regrouping. We're going to be using the strategy expanded form, sometimes known as partial differences. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions and I hope you enjoy. So today we're gonna to start off, um, we have 803 minus 147. And this is a tricky problem because it does have a zero in the tens place. Um, so we're going to walk through that and uh, see how we can work around having that obstacle. So first I'm drawing my arrows to show where I'm expanding out. I do have three digits, so I have to make sure that I draw three lines for each digit, my hundreds, tens, and ones place. And of course, making sure I'm adding um, my addition symbols in between, because you always use addition symbols when you're expanding out a number, even if you're subtracting those two numbers. I know it's confusing. Um, And I'm going to draw my subtraction symbol to constantly remind myself so I do not get confused. Remember, this is a great strategy that once you get it in your, um, once you get it down, you can add and subtract big numbers in your head without having to use a pen and paper like you would with a standard algorithm. So when I'm expanding out 803, keeping my 800 in my hundreds column, a zero in my tens column because I have nothing there, and a three in my ones column. And for 147, I am expanding it out uh, with no issues, 100 plus 40 plus 7. I'm going to start with my 1s column. As you can see, I cannot take 7 away from 3. And so I go over to my 10s column and, uh-oh, <laughs> there's nothing to take from there too. So I'm going to go over to the next column again. I'm taking 100 away from my 100s column, leaving 700s. And I'm going to give that 100 to my 10s column. So I now have 10 10s or 1 100. Now I have enough to take from my tens column, so I'm gonna take a 10 away from my 100, that leaves 90, and I'm gonna give that 10 to my three. That's gonna leave 13. Now with all of my numbers on top bigger than my numbers on the bottom, I am ready to subtract. So I see I have 13, take away seven, that's gonna leave me with six ones. I have 90, take away 40, and that's going to leave me with 50, or 5 tens. And finally, easy peasy, I'm going to take 100 away from my 700 to leave 600. And this is a very, very easy way uh, to put that number back together after I expanded it out. 600 plus 50 plus 6 equals 656. Not as complicated or scary as it seems. 